Hello, and today we are going into the root user. What does this mean? What is IAM? So many questions. Let's find out. What is a root user in AWS? Great question. So when we create any sort of user in AWS, they always come with their own login and their own account. A user is basically anyone that can log into AWS and access the resources there. When you first create an AWS account, the email that you are using to create that account becomes the email of the root user. And that gives you access to pretty much everything. So I can unlimited access to AWS. But as always with great power <laughs> comes great responsibility. And you've got to be really careful about this root user because they have access to everything in your AWS account. You should only use it very, very sparingly. It's highly recommended that you have multi-factor authentication because you just don't want any random person being able to log into this. They could literally take down your whole product or company or app or whatever you're working on. They could also cost you a lot of money, you know, if they had malicious intent. So how does this compare with the IAM user? And what exactly is an IAM user? IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. And these are users that are members or sub-members of your AWS account. They all have their own usernames and their own passwords, but they don't have that same godlike access that the root user has. They all have different levels of permissions and different keys to actually get into your AWS. The thing here is that you want to use IAM users for your kind of daily activities with AWS and then use your root user only when you absolutely have to because you want to avoid any sort of security breaches or anything that goes wrong. You really want to be using your IAM users like majority of the time. Let's take a look at a little comparison at a very, very high level. So on this side, we have our IAM users, which is everyday access, very limited permissions. And then on the other side, we have our root user, which is more about full access and for any really big jobs that you can't do with your IAM. Now, multi-factor authentication is a really important part of this whole story. So make sure that you're making really good use of multi-factor authentication. If you're not familiar with multi-factor authentication, very briefly, it's just where you want to have an additional layer of authenticating who a person is to actually log them into a system. So if you've ever tried to log in and it sends a code to your phone number or it asks you to check an app or it gives you a call or whatever it is, it sends an email and you've got to go into your email and open the message. This is all multi-factor authentication. They're trying to check, are you actually who you say you are or have you just by chance lucky guessed someone's favorite pet from their childhood and now you can access their account. You can also use fingerprints or face scanning. These are all things that are becoming much, much more popular in every day now. So multi-factor authentication doesn't just have to be the standard code or email or phone. The bottom line is that multi-factor authentication is absolutely essential for your root user because you want to make sure that this is super locked down. The best practices in summary for the root user is to use with caution. Make sure that you've got multi-factor authentication turned on. Never share your logins with other people for this and make use of your IAM users for your daily tasks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful and educational and we will see you in the next video.